What's up team? Angela Gargano here, four-time American Ninja Warrior and pull-up expert. Today we're gonna to talk about something that I hear about all the time, which is grip. Grip strength. Trying to be able to do your pull-up and you're like, my hands hurt, my grip is, I can't hold on to the bar long enough. We're gonna go through a ton of drills that you can do in order to improve your grip strength. And guess what? None of them include grips. We're not using grips, we're using all bare hand, but I'm gonna give you everything that you need to know and to do to get that grip strength that you've always wanted so you can conquer that pull up. If you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe. And at the end of this video, I will be giving you a six day free pull up guide to help you on your journey of conquering your pull ups or increasing your max. So let's get to it. I am not a fan of using grips. I know everyone always asks me that. What kind of grips or things can I get in order to prevent you know, these calluses and my hands hurting on the bar? I'm not a fan of that because your hands really do need to build up those calluses and those strengths for you in order to get your pull up and to do all sorts of other things, like maybe even holding just regular weights, right? So instead of getting grips, there's a couple things that you can do. Number one, liquid chalk. It's great, it's not messy, and it's gonna help you with the pain on your hands a bit. Is it gonna completely get rid of some of the pain while you're progressing for your pull-up? No, <laughs> but it's definitely gonna help ease in some of that. So you can take some of that liquid chalk and put it on your hands and you give yourself a second. It's pretty cool, watch, shake it out. It's like, <sighs> some crazy hands here, okay? So this is gonna help you with your grip strength so that when you get on the bar, you feel a bit more comfortable. Maybe you're not slipping as much, especially if, you're, if you sweat a lot. I personally don't sweat too much, but I know people who are like, I can't even hold on to it because my grip won't even allow me to. Grab some liquid chalk. Oh. Second thing you can do is a ton of stuff for grip strength, okay? So we're gonna go through a ton of exercises that you can do for all different levels, no matter where you're at in your journey. Number one, we've got plate pinches. So you're gonna grab two plates, two plates, and you're gonna actually hold, and you're gonna pinch them with your fingers. Now, I took the literally like the smallest plates you could possibly get. If you're actually in a gym, you can grab like 10 pound plates, 25 pound plates, whatever that is, a little bit heavier, and you can literally just stand and pinch them and see how long you can do that. I have a lot of people too just walk around <laughs> with them in your hand, standing up nice and tall and holding that pinch grip, okay? You're gonna start to really feel it and this is gonna really help to improve your grip strength without actually even having to hang on the bar, right? So, got those, okay? Next one I love to do, which is a little bit sketchy, so just be ready if I drop this, I mean, it's just very common what happens, is plate flips, okay? So you grab the plate, I would grab a smaller one to start out with, you can do them with bigger ones later on, and grab the plate, and you're gonna flip it. Oh, there we go. Flip and catch, pretty fun. If you drop it, totally okay. Oh, catching it towards the edge. It's really gonna make you pinch the plate and work on that grip strength. And yes, your fingers are a part of your grip strength, okay? It's not just here in the middle where you're grabbing the bar for your pull-up, okay? So plate flips, super fun. Um, if you drop it, totally fine. I drop stuff all the time. Before we even did this, um, I made sure that none of, I didn't have anything valuable around me just in case you flip it and you drop it on it. So again, plate flips. And you're probably gonna have one side that's harder than the other. This side's gonna be harder for me. Oh, oh I got it. Oh, here we go. See, you drop it all the time. So grab it and get used to that for your uh, grip strength. Next thing on my list is just hang. Just hang in order to get better, in order to conquer your pull-up. You need to be able to hang on the bar. If you can't hang on the bar, how are you gonna do it, right? So hop on the bar with all that chalk, that too much chalk that I put on, and just hang. Chill out, move around. I literally have something on in my program that says literally move around the bar, move around the bar, get comfortable, chill out, circle around a bit, play, see how long you can stay up here without falling, just monkey around. If you ever follow Liz Plosser, who's one of my favorite people in the entire world, I love the fact that she goes in the gym and she literally just does this. She hangs around, just moves around the bar, gets comfortable with it, and yeah, see how long you can just hang, okay? Timing a hang, I like to tell people that you wanna be able to hang for at least at least 30 seconds and feel pretty damn good about it. So if right now you hop up there and you can only hang for like 10 seconds, totally fine, but it's something you can work up towards. It's to think about, hey, I can maybe work up to holding for 30 seconds, that's gonna help my grip strength. And again, this eventually will become more comfortable than it is right now if you're feeling like you have some calluses and uncomfortableness on the bar. Next thing we have, farmer's carry, just like you wrote the pinch plates, 
except with towels wrapped around weights, or I have mine wrapped around kettlebells. So you can literally go to your kitchen, <laughs> grab towels, and you wrap them around. Oh, man. <laughs> wrap them around some kettlebells, and just hold. Just hang out. This is going to help to build that grip strength. Chest up tall, walk it around. Walk it around. <laughs> okay, chest up tall the entire time. Really hold on. What this, this can get tough, okay? Really holding on to that weight again, helping that grip strength. Another great thing you can do without even hanging on the bar, you just do this at home. So if you're like, oh, I can't, can't work on my pull-up. Well, you know what? You can work on your, your grip strength at home, right? All right, so we have a few other things in my magical bag of tricks, which I like to call it. And you're gonna use those towels again to do towel hangs, okay? So let's see if these towels actually work because they're really small. These are very small towels. You probably want bigger towels than this, but this is all I could grab. This is all I had. So you're gonna put the towels on the bar. You're gonna grab underneath them. And just like you were hanging before, you'll hang right here. Hang on the towels for as long as you can. Same thing here, work up to being able to do at least 30 seconds here of holding, oof. And you're gonna feel it in your hands like that. It's like ever go like rock climbing and after you're like, why can't I open my hand? It's because you're working on your grip strength, right? Is that the win? Oh my God. What is happening? Is that a tornado? <laughs> Excuse us while we're hanging and an apocalypse is happening around us here at the gym. <laughs> All right, so you're hanging while the apocalypse is going on. Hold, 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 hold. Come on off. And then you can take the towels off. It's a great way to help improve your grip strength. Now, some more things I have in my magical bag of tricks is your hands are gonna start to hurt because you've been grabbing like so much. So we need to make sure that we're doing the opposite thing as well to help improve our grip strength. So I've got something really fancy and cool. You ready? This is finger extensor exercises. Okay, you're probably like, what the hell is this? And you can actually do this just with a hair tie. So if you have a hair tie, you can just put it on your fingers. So you put your fingers, wow, there's like a bunch of dog hair on here. In here, this is very exciting, right? And literally, this is what you do, you ready? You open it. Okay, this is gonna work the opposite way of your grip. So opposite way of your grip. And you can literally do one finger, other finger, and just keep going around. This is also great for stress relief. So if you're sitting at home and you're bored and you need some work on your grip strength, just take these and just just do this. It's going to seem weird, but it's really going to be helpful, again, in order to help with that grip strength. Sometimes when you're working on your grip strength, too, you can build up some elbow pain. This will help with that as well, because, again, you want to make sure that you're, as much as you're grabbing, you're also extending as well. And I have this little donut here. You can do the same thing in the donut, but you're going to you do your grip strength and just go like this. Literally stress relief. You can be working on your grip strength while you're at work stressed out. <laughs> Just opening and closing your hand in these little finger extensor exercises, okay? So, the next thing, okay? Next up, we have stick roll-ups, which I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try and build this thing right now in front of you because it's gonna show you how, how kind of funny it is, okay? So I'm gonna show you. All right, so I'm gonna try and build this thing that I used to use in gymnastics all the time. I'm not really sure if this is gonna actually work, but we're gonna catch it all on camera just in case. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a plate. I probably should go later than this, so we're just gonna go this way, plate, and you're gonna loop this is going to be funny because I'm probably going to talk. All right. You're going to loop a band around it. Okay. No, I think that's going to work. Okay, cool. And then you're going to take, now this could be a broom. This doesn't have to be a stick that we have here. You're going to loop that in here. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try. So you're going to tie it. Oh, actually, okay, I mean, maybe this will work. <laughs> okay, so you tied it, like double knotted it, triple knotted it, whatever. And then I normally like loop it around once, I think. This is what I used to do at the gym. Okay, all right, let's see if this works. And this is another great way to help with your grip strength. So you lift it up, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually twist it up. But you wanna keep your arms super straight when you're doing this. Super straight, so you don't want it to be in here, you want it to be as straight as possible, slight bend in the knee, and just circle it up. And then you also wanna go slow on the way down. Oh man, kills the forearms, and then circle it down. 
This is kind of like a do-it-yourself type of situation here, okay? But again, the idea is can you keep your arms completely straight while doing this? Now, I just put, um, let's see how many, I think this is five pounds. I put a five-pound weight on here. If this feels like a lot, feel free to grab a lighter, a lighter one. Um, and I would kind of experiment with your bands. You can also even use like a string instead, but I just used what I could. So you can kind of makeshift a little grip situation to order to help with your grip strength. So yeah, stick roll-ups, good times. So I'm gonna take this off, hopefully. There we go, cool, pull this apart. The world's falling apart around us as we do this video, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> Craziness is happening. All right. Last couple things I want to go over for grip strength is there's some other ways in order to help improve your grip strength with different types of grips. So this is just a standard like hang on the bar, regular overgrip. But I have a few other things in my magical bag of tricks, and I say that because I love Felix the cat. If anyone even knows who that is, well, who's watching this video? But I have this thing in my bag <laughs> with a bunch of different grips that you can grab. These are actually from Fit Bar, great company. Not sponsored, these are just grips that I have. Okay, and yes, I just carry around these. These are just in my purse. So people ask what's in my purse, it's just these random grips. Okay, so, you've got different types of grips here, okay? Super cool in order to help that grip strike, right? And things that you can do pull-ups on or just hang on. So these ones are actually gonna be the harder ones uh, to work with. So you can hang on here, okay? You can move up and down, do your pull-ups on here. You can just hang, okay? These cannonballs are a little bit easier because you're able to get your entire hand over the ball. So you can grab here, take your fingers, put them over the bar, just hold, do pull-ups, hang, mess around. Some people like to like, I don't even know if I can do this right now. Some people like to like move them over and like mess around with that type of situation. But another great way to work on your grip strength is to get different types of holds that you can hold on. So we did towels, but these ones are also great as well to kind of mess around and play with. And, help you get that grip strength and feel like a little ninja warrior. Okay, I'm gonna make a bunch of little ninja warriors out of every single one of you on here. Hopefully that was helpful for you and hopefully that will help you find ways to improve your grip strength without getting grips. Okay, there's lots of different things that you can do at home using towels and all the stuff that I went over with you today. And if you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe. And don't forget to download my six day free pull-up guide. It's down below. Grab it, get started with your pull-ups and let's finally get that grip strength. I'll see you all next time.